Welcome to the lesson on model training and prediction. The next part is building the model. What is a machine learning model? A machine learning model is a file that has been trained to recognize certain types of patterns. You train a model over a set of data, providing it an algorithm that it can use to reason over and learn from those data. To relate input and output to predict the output variable, we need to build a machine learning model. The model is an equation relating to input and output having parameters. We use the algorithm to find the parameters of the model. In the first step, you need to assume that input and output are related by some equation that includes parameters. From the algorithm, we can find the parameters of the model. There are four steps in building the model. The first step is to pre-process the data. The second step is model selection and training. The third step is the prediction from the model. The fourth step is the model evaluation. What is pre-processing data? Data pre-processing is a data mining technique that is used to transform the raw data into a useful and efficient format. Let us see pre-processing the data. Sometimes the data we are presenting to the model is required to be pre-processed. That means you have to do normalization. Sometimes we have to separate them into training and testing data. Some columns have to be transformed. You need to separate input and output data. In the data frame, we drop the chance of admit and store the data in X. To drop a column, we use data.drop. Here X is the input variable, and Y is the output variable. The output variable is the chance of admit. We stored all columns except the chance of admit in X variable. The chance of admit is the output column. We are dropping this column, and taking the remaining variables as the input. There are 7 columns in X. So X has 7 variables. Hence X has 7 columns, and Y is the only output variable, that is only one column. Y has only one column. If you see the shape of X, you can see the number of rows is 497. X contains 7 input variables belongs to 497 students. It has 7 input variables, and the output is only a single variable. The variable X is called the independent variable, and the output variable Y is called the dependent variable. That means the dependent variable is dependent on the independent variables. For building the model, t here are two steps. The first step is the training model, and the second step is the testing model. We have to separate data for model training, and testing. So the data will be divided into the training set, and testing set. The algorithm gives more accuracy on the training set, since we use the training data set in model training. To get better results, we have to check the model performance on the testing data set. Using the training data, you will train the model. You will test the model on the testing data set. So the data of students has to be separated into training data, and the testing. The model underscore selection class of the scikit-learn module has train underscore test underscore split method. We use the train underscore test underscore split method for separating data. You need to import train underscore test underscore split method. You need to use this method on X and Y. Here X is the first variable, and Y is the second variable. The train underscore test underscore split method divides X, into training and testing data. It divides Y also into training, and test data based on the percentage given. For example, the default training data size is 80%, and the testing data size is 20%. Here we have not given any size. So X is divided into two data sets and stored in variables. This method divides X into train underscore X, and test underscore X. And this method divides Y into train underscore Y and test underscore Y. So the training data is stored in a variable train underscore Y, and testing data is stored in a variable test underscore Y. Randomly data is separated into training and testing data. It selects the student data randomly. The parameter random underscore state is the seed value for the random sampling. If you don't specify the random state and run method many times, then a different selection will be chosen every time. To ensure that the same sampling is selected for every execution, you need to specify some integer to the random state. Hence every time you run, you get the same results. Now we will take a model, and train that model on this 80% training data. After training the model, we will now test the model on the 20% testing data. We use the multiple linear regression model to solve this problem. This model is available in a linear underscore model class as linear regression. You need to import the linear regression class. Give this a name LR. You need to test the performance of the model. For testing the model, we need to calculate the mean absolute error. What is mean absolute error? Absolute error is the amount of error in your measurements. It is the difference between the measured value and the true value. The mean absolute error, MAE, is the average of all absolute errors.
Import mean underscore absolute underscore error from the metrics is Emma E. We are creating an instance of LR class. The LR is our model now. You need to train this model. It is in the raw state. You need to train this model. You have created a multiple linear regression model LR, and now you need to train the model. For training, you need a method called fit. LR underscore fit train underscore X, train underscore Y trains the linear regression model using train underscore X as the input, and train underscore Y as the output. Then the algorithm finds parameters, by fitting the relation between train underscore X and train underscore Y. Finds the best fit or equation between train underscore X, and train underscore Y with optimization techniques. The best fit line obtained from the fit method is not 100% accurate. It does not satisfy all the points. There is some error. The algorithm finds the average curve between input and output. After the fit method, we got a trained model. We got parameters also. The next step is to predict using the trained model. We use the predict method for testing the model. Give same training set train underscore x to lr dot predict method. This method predicts the output of the model for given train underscore x. We are giving train underscore x as the input to the trained model, to see whether it is correctly giving the output values or not. For the input train underscore x, the model predicts the values. Store the predicted values in the train underscore predict variable. Now we have actual and predicted values. Train underscore y is the actual value we got from the train underscore test underscore split command. The train underscore predict is the predicted value, the values predicted by the model. May is the mean absolute error. Here if you run, you can see that deviation is 0.03. The absolute error means the absolute value of the actual value minus the predicted value. The range of chance of admit is between 0 to 1. Hence 0.03 error is acceptable, which means our algorithm is accurately predicting the chance of admit for a given student. So far, we trained the model on training data. As far as training is concerned, our model is performing well. We have trained the model on the data train underscore x and train underscore y. We measured the absolute error for the trained model. We call this error a training error. When we use the training input as the input for the model, the error we are getting we call it a training error. That means when you are using the training data for the prediction. We call it a training error. For trained data, it may give accurately, but it should be generalized to unseen data. Now we will test the model on data that is not in the training set. For this data also, the error should be small. The error measured based on testing data is testing error. Now we are giving the testing data. We kept 20% of the data aside, which is not present in the training data. We will use this 20% data to see whether it is predicting accurately or not. Now in this lr.predict, we are giving test underscore x, test data as the input to the trained model lr. We are saving these predicted values or output values in a variable test underscore predict. Just like the previous case, the actual values of the output is test underscore y. And predicted values from the trained model are test underscore predict. You see that the error is 0.046. Earlier for the training data, we got 0.039. This error is close to the training error. That means our trained model is performing well on the testing data also. Training and testing errors are small. That means we are getting acceptable errors. Hence the error is small. So our model is predicting with accuracy. I hope you understand how we will train and test the model. We have created a multiple linear regression model and trained the model using the fit method. We have seen the performance of the model with training data and testing data. With the trained model, we can predict the chances of admission for any new student. Now you can deploy the model. Once deployed, you can provide student details and can check the chance of admission to the new university based on his profile.